Hi guys, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to go through the suggested solution for 2019 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 19. Alright, Question 19 goes something like this. The reaction between methyl benzene and ethanol chloride is similar to the reaction between methyl benzene and chloroethane. So, the reaction is given. Methyl benzene is here. The methyl group is at the bottom. This is my acid chloride functional group. In the presence of AlCl3, I will substitute this COCH3 group to position 4 with respect to the methyl group. Now this is reasonable because we know that a methyl group it is a 2,4 directing group. So it will direct the incoming group to position 2 or position 4 with respect to itself. So position 2 it is next to the methyl group. Position 4 it is directly opposite the methyl group. So this product in principle is possible. So the question says that the reaction proceeds via several stages with two successive intermediates. So what could be the intermediates for this reaction? And then we are given four options, A, B, C, D. Of course, we want to run through and we decide which is the reasonable answer. Now, this question is involving the electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene. So if you're not familiar with the electrophilic substitution of benzene, I actually have a previous video involving this mechanism. So it is good to take a look at the mechanism first before we come back to this question. Now moving on, what would the intermediates be? We can actually make use of the application involving electrophilic substitution. So the mechanism, actually it is here. The first two steps, because we just need the first two steps to figure out the intermediates, right? So the first step will be generating the electrophile. Then what we will have is I have the acid chloride, CH3, C double bond O, Cl. In the presence of AlCl3, I will generate an electrophile and I form AlCl4 minus. Now, basically what is happening here is the AlCl3, it is acting as a Lewis acid. A Lewis acid is an electron pair acceptor. It is pulling the lone pair or the electron pair from Cl and accepts this Cl- and form Al Cl4- minus. So in terms of arrow pushing, maybe let me try to put this in because if I consider carbon and chlorine, carbon it is a partial positive charge because it is less electronegative. Cl it is a partial minus charge. So what happens is the CCl bond will break. Both electrons will go to chlorine then this Cl will become negatively charged, correct? So this Cl will donate a lone pair or an electron pair to aluminum in AlCl3. So the purpose or the function of AlCl3, it is acting as the catalyst. And more specifically, this is a Lewis acid catalyst. It is an electron pair acceptor, accepts electron pair from Cl- minus to form AlCl4-. Then what happens for this carbon is because it loses the electron to Cl and it will form a positive species. So the intermediate will look something like this, CH3C double bond O, and this carbon becomes positively charged. So this is my electrophile. Actually not surprising, right? Because when we do the mechanism involving benzenes, we learn that benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution because benzene is electron rich, so therefore, it will react with species that are electron poor. So not surprising if I can attach this COCH3 group to benzene, then the reactive species, it has to be a positive species. It has to be an electrophile. So the electrophile has to be CH3, C double bond O, and the carbon has to be positive charge so that it can attract the electron-rich benzene. So this is the first intermediate. Now, once we have this intermediate, then the next thing that will happen is the benzene because it is electron rich. So it will attack this carbon, which is electron poor. So the arrow pushing is already here. So benzene will use the delocalized pi electrons to attack this positive carbon. So what we do is we draw an arrow pushing from the ring to the C plus, and then we will form this intermediate. Now this intermediate, I think we should be familiar with it because when benzene attacks an electrophile, then one of these carbon will be sp3 hybridized. Remember, this carbon actually has a hydrogen that we never draw, 
But once we draw this intermediate, we will have to show that this carbon actually has a hydrogen, which is already there, and it is attached to this COCH3. Now, I think previously we mentioned that because methyl group it is 2,4 directing, so this electrophile will be attached to position 2 or position 4 with respect to benzene. The reason why I draw this here is, if you look back at the question, all these four intermediates involving the benzene is where the COCH3 group it is to position 4, so therefore there are no variations here in terms of the position of substitution, so we will only have one outcome involving the intermediate. So the COCH3 will be attached to this carbon. And this carbon it is the one that is taking the electron pair from the delocalized pi system and it forms a bond with COCH3. So the portion around this carbon, the delocalization will be gone. So effectively benzene loses this resonance stability, which it doesn't like. And also the positive charge on this carbon is being transferred or being passed to the benzene ring. Of course, benzene doesn't like this configuration. There are two things. First thing is it is positively charged. Second thing is it loses its resonance stability, so it makes it highly unstable. There's a third step where benzene will kick out this H+, and subsequently this H+, will combine with AlCl4- to regenerate back the catalyst. But for this exercise, we are not interested in showing that because we only need the intermediates. So now we'll figure out the intermediates. I need this CH3 C double bond O plus this carbo cation. And the second intermediate, which is also a positive species. So we can now look back at the question and we see which is the best answer. Of course, the first thing we will consider is the charge on this CH3 CO group that is consistent here. So if I look at the options given inside this question, we will eliminate the species where the CH3 CO, it is a minus charge. So B is eliminated because this is negative charge and D is eliminated because this is also a negative charge. It has to be an electrophile before it is attractive to benzene. Then benzene will undergo electrophilic reactions with this electrophile. So we are left with options A and C. Now the next thing we will have to consider is if I compare this guy versus this guy, the only difference is where the ring opens. So which one it is a better option? This guy here, the ring opens around this carbon, which is bonded to your COCH3 group or this sp3 carbon. This intermediate here, the ring opens at the methyl group. Now, I think just now we have already drawn the intermediate. So the answer should be this guy. Why is it the case is remember this carbon, it is the one that is forming this additional bond with COCH3. So therefore this carbon, it is sp3 hybridized. This carbon doesn't have any more electrons to contribute to this delocalized pi system. So therefore the ring should open around this carbon. Now this structure is not so good because the ring opening is around this carbon which carries the methyl group. You notice this carbon, it is sp2 carbon. So it only has three bonds bonded to this carbon, this carbon which is part of benzene, this methyl group. Then this carbon actually has one spare electron which can be delocalized in benzene. So this configuration as compared to this guy in option A, of course, this structure will be a lot more reasonable. So therefore we can eliminate this structure. It's not as appropriate as what we have for option A. So once we have figured out the two intermediates and we systematically eliminate the other options, then we can conclude that the answer to this question will be, of course, option A. All right, so that was the discussion involving question 19. You notice we need to be familiar with the electrophilic substitution of benzene, and we apply this to another electrophilic substitution of benzene involving reactants that we are not familiar with. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.